Green flag is out and we are underway. Hollinsworth better through the gears with the edge in turn number one. Williams pushing up the racetrack. Hollinsworth away with the lead down the back straight away. Veteran Savvy has Scooter Hollinsworth out front and in control of the race. Your leader, lap number one. Matt Gussler to the inside of Doug Williams through turns one and two. An easy pass for Gussler. Williams backslides to third. We will keep tabs on it all night long. Hollinsworth must finish three positions ahead of Doug Williams to claim the track championship so far. Hollinsworth doing all he can do. The competition must step up now for Scooter Hollinsworth. Everything going as planned for Team 16, two positions ahead of the points leader. And what a story it's been for Scooter Hollinsworth this season. Hollinsworth has been competing in a backup car since losing his primary entry in a test session crash on August the 5th. In three starts piloting the substitute, however, Hollinsworth posted three top fives, including one victory. He's racing the primary tonight for the first time since, opting for the car after a test earlier this week that included both machines. Hollinsworth decided the primary entry was better and it's out front and leading, but for how long, Matt Gussler on the move to the inside of Hollinsworth. Hollinsworth pins the 80 to the apron of the racetrack. An aggressive move by Hollinsworth. It's all on the line up front for Scooter Hollinsworth. Back to work in turn number one, and Gussler gets into the 16. Tandem spin up the banking, and a major development for a championship contender. Two very good friends off the racetrack, Matt Gussler and Scooter Hollinsworth, have tangled to brandish the first collision plus caution flag of the night. Both drivers should escape unscathed, but a major setback for Scooter Hollinsworth, who is headed to the attention of his pit crew. Wow. I turned off down in the corner and Matthew was there apparently because uh, I, I just, I swear, I figured he's madder than crap at me because it, it's totally my fault. I cut down on him. Williams, the leader, green flag is out. We're back underway. Hollinsworth and Gussler at the tail of the field. And Cup gets into the 77 of Williams. Williams up the banking, minimal damage, and our second caution flag of the night, Casey Cup, into Doug Williams. We had the caution, 77 took the outside line. I knew something was up with that. I took the inside line, and I guess he pinched me down. We both spun. Green flag is back out. We're back underway. Gussler, no contest at the stripe. He brings Cup with him. The 26 of Cox backslides two positions by turn number one. Battle is for fourth. Hollinsworth, Williams, plunge into turn number three. They're not racing for the lead. They're racing for a championship further back in the field. Gussler first, Cup second, Hollinsworth third, and he is converging rapidly on the 29 of Cup, who goes high, yielding the preferred groove to Hollinsworth out of turn number two. Hollinsworth gliding past the 29 of Cup. One more spot in the bank for Scooter Hollinsworth. Ratcheting up the pressure on the 77 of Doug Williams. 13 laps are in. Hollinsworth trying to reel in Matt Gussler. It will be a tough task. We are past halfway, and the championship hinges on the spot directly ahead of Scooter Hollinsworth, the leader. All that stands between Scooter Hollinsworth and a track championship at this juncture in the contest. That is, if Casey Cup can keep the 77 of Doug Williams at bay. The lead has vanished out of turn number four. Hollinsworth is there. It's down to five-tenths of a second and less at the stripe. A car length separating the top two. Hollinsworth, a man on a mission. After a crash on lap number eight, Hollinsworth has rebounded to battle for the lead on lap number 20. Nine laps of racing remaining a championship in the balance.
The front end cosmetic damage sustained in that crash could become a factor. Hollinsworth watching it flap in the breeze down the front straightaway. Right front fender in the air pass complete. Lap 22, Hollinsworth is out front. If Doug Williams has been riding, it's time to turn up the heat. A car link separating Casey Cup from Doug Williams. Talking to one of the crew members on Doug Williams' machine, they noted that per the tire rule, there wasn't much rubber left on the 77 of Williams. Could it be playing a factor? White flag is out. Hollinsworth coasting out front, searching for his third consecutive track championship at Motor Mile Speedway. Time has run out for Doug Williams. Out of turn number four, Hollinsworth pulls it off. The underdog, a winner, Hollinsworth, your 2015 Carpet Factory Outlet Street Stock Track Champion. Two drivers have collected three consecutive track championships. Lee Pulliam is one. You are the other. Scooter, can you sum that up? What does it mean? How special is it to be a three-time consecutive Motor Mile Speedway track champion? It's, it's special. I tell you, after the trouble I had at the start of the year, thankfully I kind of I, I just wrote it off because, I mean, you can, you can sit there and wear yourself out day after day, sit at night thinking, well, gosh, if I did this a little different, if I did that a little different. And uh, so actually after I had the trouble uh, there a few weeks ago and, and – cremated the wall down there practicing I was like well actually it might be a blessing I got it off my heart now and I can just go race to have fun that's what I come out to do tonight because any other time I came in to the season with a, with a little bit of a lead yep. and you can just kind of play it safe and uh you know so tonight I didn't have to worry about playing it safe I was just my thought was go in and that's what I was shooting to do and uh just blessed just blessed that it happened I don't know how but it happened